you've been to another coast of kind, you've heard what I'm going to battle about in a couple minutes, and I want to take a couple minutes of your time to tell you about this, because it's very, very important. If you're going to go to a trip to Italy this year with Ace. Now, the reason I say that's very important is because my wife Penny and I went to Italy last November. We rented a car. When you rent a car in Italy, you have a choice. Buy their insurance or use your own insurance. If you use your own insurance, you have damage to it, then you've got to pay the money up front and have your insurance company take care of it. Or you buy their insurance and when you turn it in, you're done. We rented a car for two weeks, $380 for two weeks to ride this car. We originally got it, and I have a friend that has a Mercedes M3, and I could fit into that thing, so that's what we ordered to drive around. We ended up with an Alfa Romero Giulia. <laughs> Sounds Italian. <clears throat> and trust me, it's very Raggioli. So, we get this car, we own the first day, but we bought the insurance at three, $380 for the rental, $800 for two weeks of insurance on this vehicle. I was ticked off, man. I was like, $800, jeez. All right, get the insurance. We went out to deal, just in case. So we get the car. First day. I don't sleep well on airplanes because the seats don't fit me real big, real easy, because I'm too big. Right? So I'm, I, I'm kind of a little out of it. I said, look, you drive the first day to get, we got to get up to, Tuscany to go to Cordova, and uh, we're going to spend a week, a couple days up in Tuscany. She's driving. Three hours later, we get there. She makes a wrong turn because of, she doesn't pay attention to the GPS. And she makes a wrong turn. We go up this farm road to a little farm in our barnyard. She backs the thing up 52 time K turn to get it turned back around to get down the road we just came. Oh, she hits a stone wall, handmade stone wall, and we got out of that yard real quick. So <laughs> when we got to our, our bed and breakfast, we're looking at it, and there's a gash on the back bumper, and it's about that long, and it's just <laughs> right across the back. Okay, uh, good thing we bought the insurance. <laughs> Next day, we take the car, we walk to and we do our thing. We're having a fun time, we're having a great time. I'm driving, we're coming back. Now, first of all, I gotta tell you, I graduated Pennsylvania State Police Academy and they taught us how to drive. High speed pursuit, backwards, forwards, sometimes sideways, sometimes a rock for turn. I've got numerous certifications for driving fire trucks. <sighs> driving in Italy is not exactly certification worthy of what I, what I, I graduated with. So, we go back, we're following the GPS, coming up and it's kind of in the dark, we go back, and as we, GPS turns right here. All right, we turn right into this road. It's just a little wider than this, and the car is just a little smaller than that width. So we turn into this road and we're driving down it, and it's kind of drizzling, it's dark, and there's bicycles, bicycles people coming up the other direction, and I'm driving, and I move the car over, over, and I hear. <laughs> Should have pulled the mirrors in, or mirror up. <laughs> we get we get to our con uh, bed and breakfast. Oh, good thing we put that insurance. Huh? <laughs> so we got the insurance. I'm very happy about it. The next day we go off drive. That evening we come back to the same. I said, no, I'm not turning down that road because that got really tiny real quick. There's got to be another entrance into this town because there's a big wall built around this town on the top of this mountain. We get back up to the next entrance and I go, I'll go in here. Now, pay attention, there's a lot of geograph or uh, geometry stuff you gotta pay attention to. I'm on a flat road that's kind of weedy and I pulled my mirrors in and we get to a point where, about where Janine is, is a wall and the road is one way uphill. Now, the road is on a tilt. I'm on a flat. There's a little triangle piece there. So that as I said, all right, let's see if I can get around this turret. And as I go, I hear, <coughs> ah, stopping it back up. 
And I hear, <laughs> Penny looks at me and says, what was that? And I said, I got a funny feeling it was a rocker panel on this side. All right, we'll try a little more, a little bit. Then <laughs> and I made it around the turn. I'm really happy. Next day we look, uh, yeah, that rocker panel's kind of chewed up there, huh? You know, <laughs> glad we bought that insurance. So, <laughs> so we're driving. The third day, last night in Cordova, Italy, we're driving, and no, we're not going down there. No, we're not turning in there, but we're going to turn in here. Now, the first day we were there, we went out for a, a walk. Kind of walked the streets a little bit, and, you know, I saw this red Yamaha 900 motorcycle, and I thought, wouldn't this be fun to ride around on these hills, you know? Now we're coming back to the third day. We're taking this road. It's got to be better than those first two. Uh, so we, we turn into this road we're riding along, and it's twisty turning. I got the mirrors in, and we're about a half a mile into, and there's houses doors to people's front doors and there's bicycles chained to the wall. I'm not running over pedestrians, so I'm very happy about that. And we get to a point, we stop. And Penn says, what, what, what's the matter? I said, the GPS saying going straight, but I can't see what's over that hill. I'm not going down that hill until I know what's over. She goes, well, I'll check. Unbuckles her seatbelt, hops out of her car, runs over, stands there. Nice shoes. And I was looking at the, looking over the hill, or she's looking over the hill. She comes back, and it's a little drizzy, drizzly, hops back in the car, and says, go ahead, it's fine. Now, the thing about the Pennsylvania State Police Academy, they taught us how to maneuver your car up over a curb so you have to chase somebody through whatever. I'm thinking, okay, how bad could it be? As we're getting towards it, she says, it's just a bunch of steps that are about three inches high. <laughs> and they're about six feet apart. So I'm thinking, all right, I can angle this and drop one tire at a time and get that. Well, there's not enough room because there's somebody's front door here and there's somebody's front door here. So now I gotta go straight. So the front wheels drop, the undercarriage drags across. <laughs> there are 15 of these lit-tiered steps. So as we're going down, <laughs> the undercarriage is scratching. Penny doesn't have her seatbelt on. She's bouncing around, laughing hysterically because we're popping down these steps. And she says, let's come back here tomorrow and we'll do this. And I'll videotape you coming down the hill. I get to the bottom and I stop and I recognize where we are because there's that Yamaha 900 at the top of the hill. I know we can go that way with no problem. And she's sitting there and she goes, that was so much fun, I almost beat myself. I said, well, I know I did. So I said, we're going up here. She goes, well, the GPS says to go down there. I said, I know it's down there because I think I looked down there the other day. So we turned left, went up around the back way and we came around the front. <sighs> The next day, I kind of took a peek under there, and I'm looking, going, oh, didn't say nothing, let it go. We went from there to Venice. Parking in Venice, it's an island, there is none, so you got to park in the San Marco parking garage. <laughs> Spiral ramp. Just as wide as the car. <laughs> Pull the mirrors in, and then I put them back out because I wanted to watch what was behind me. Because I did go to the first, second, third, and I got to go to the eighth level. Third, fourth, we get to the sixth, and some son of a gun parked his car about 18 inches over to where he should have, where I got to turn it in. And then I, right, I got to watch this, so I'm, I'm kind of making a little bit of a K turn here. Getting around the guy's car, I'm not touching him. We're doing great here. <laughs> Son of a beeswax, what now? Penny says, what was that? I said, I think it was the front end, the uh, fairing maybe, the uh, maybe fender or something. We get up to the parking spot, we pull our luggage out, I back the car into the spot and I squeeze out. It was almost like, I remember my birth where I squeezed out, but getting out between those doors, I popped out of the car, I'm happy, I lock it up, I walk, walk to the front of the car and she's just standing there looking at me. I said, what's the matter? And she, points to the ferry. 
<laughs> Damn, but we bought that insurance. Right? <laughs> All right, so that's there. If we go, we spend the day in, we go to, from there to, to another, to a Lake Como, and then from Lake Como, we go back to Milan. We're staying at the airport. We're going to turn the car back in. So we turn the car back into the rental company. Guy comes out with his iPad. He's looking at it and he goes, hey, that, that was not there before. <laughs> And he's looking at the rocker panel, and I said, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think that was there before. All right, so he's tap, 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 tap. He walks to the back of the car, and he looks at the bumper, and looks at me, and I go, she did it. <laughs> walks to the side of the car, and looks around, looks at the mirror, and looks at me, and I go, I did it. <laughs> Walks in front of the car, stands there, looks in the front of the car, and I'm standing on the, the right by the right front tire. And he's looking in the front of the car, and he tick, 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 he has a sign here. Nice big box on his iPad, or his, whatever it's called. And he says, sign here. I take my finger, Thomas D. Reddy, smiley face. <laughs> we leave. Fly home on Wednesday, Thursday, I'm back in the shop. We're getting things ready to go to Appa. We're loading the truck. Penny calls me and says, I just see forward you an email we got from the car rental company. They never caught the damage on the front end of the car. They want an explanation if we did it. Otherwise, they got to open a police investigation for one of their police. Well, I'm not going to stick some little guy for something that I could or could not have done. So. I go in and start tic tac uh, how, how do you even start something? I know. Hello. It was so nice to rent your car. It responded very well to a lot of different terrain. <laughs> so sorry for the front end damage. Yes, I did do it. I admit it wholeheartedly. Thank you very much again. Looking forward to the next time I can rent a car from you. <laughs> Two days later, I get an email back from them and said, thank you very much, the case is closed. Get the insurance if you're going to rent a car when you go to Italy with Ace, or any other time. True story, no answer to bucks, it, it happened. It, this is my life, I was just too weird for television TV sometimes. So.